All right, hello everybody and welcome to the stream. My name is Technomagus and we are now on day five of Chrono Trigger. So we are rapidly approaching the end game now as uh, we have just rescued Chrono after his untimely death at the hands of Lavos and we are now in the progress or in the process of getting all of the end game side quests done. Um, we've already completed two of them which was to stop Ozzy uh, back in 600 AD, and also to restore Cyrus's tomb. So, the next quest is going to be over here at the Giant's Claw, the, uh, which is the location of the Rainbow Shell, as told to us by Toma. So let's go ahead and explore around and see what's here. And as you can tell by the music, it's the Tyranno Lair. And just a nice little thing, you can actually, depending on, uh, you can have a little bit of fun here with uh, Azula's throne. Every character has their own little animation for this. Yes, evil Luca. We all knew she was going to go crazy someday. Alright, so... Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, my frog still has text to learn. Isla goes... since we upgraded uh, Robo's stuff. Alright, so the terrain layer behaves as basically a cross between the... Uh, it acts as a cross between the Terrano layer, or rather the, the Giant Claw acts across between the Terrano layer and the, um, the Great Cage, basically. However, a as you notice, I do not have Chrono with me, and, uh, that's actually, it might be bad. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, Chrono, or uh, Robo does not really have that many attacks right now, because it's been a while since we last actually, you know, used him. These Tyrannos are weak to magic, not so much physical, so actually bringing Hyrule along is a good thing. some good experience in this area. Alright, so let's actually get Isla out of the party. We'll go back with Magus. Actually, let's not go down just yet. Yeah, the 
trains are a lot faster now. They also don't react quite as badly at, to electricity as they did previously. So now we have to pursue other methods of actually you know, killing them. Mages deals a ton of damage as a broken spellcaster. So, if you did not pick up the chests from the Tyranno Lair, this is pretty much your chance to go. Aww, poor kitty! Bye bye, apes. No one loves you. By the way, we do actually need to fall down this pit in order to advance. guys actually counterattack uh techs. Or maybe not. They just counterattack whatever they want. Fortunately, they give a significant amount of XP and uh, and tech points, so it's not like we're at a loss for getting some. Now, 
Oh look, more apes. They do not like me. Not very good. Let's see how dark bomb looks. Eh, not too terrible. So that's a, a line, uh, a line attack, dual attack, just like how slash it, or opponent slash is. And it draws the line from uh, Robo. Full cure. Okay, so the blue rock is another one of the um, triple tech rocks. Uh, this one, let's see, what does this one give us? This one gives us the Omega Flare. Um, which can be equipped by Luca, Robo, and Mages, so let's go ahead and test it out. Bye, Frog. Say hello to Luca. Now, the thing about the tech, link, or the, uh, tech rocks is they do not give any kind of uh, bonus to defense, attack, or whatever. Alright, so Luka uses Flare, Magus uses, uh, I'm guessing Fire 2, and Robo uses Laser Spin. So let's see what happens when we actually turn this on an enemy. First though, let's explore a bit more for, see if there's more items to loot. Oh, 
hey, it's the level one of these. Let's get some tech points. Maybe remember these from the mountain below. Let's hope we can kill it before it actually, you know, runs away. Probably should have gone and grabbed Marl uh, so that she can start running some of her remaining techs. Come on, kill it. There we go. Those guys do run away if you leave them around too long. Nope, oh, and down we go. Oh, save point. That means there's something coming up. Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with the current party. Because we have the kill set that is Omega Laser. So I should probably change around some equipment. Let's go and give Luca the gold stud so that way we can use Omega Laser a significantly larger amount of times. It's another Tyranno! Well, I mean, he doesn't really care, so let's just... Oh, whoops. Okay, I guess he... I guess the Rust Tyranno, uh... Doesn't want us going past it. That's fine. So let's just kill it with fire from heaven. Being a Tyranno, it probably has a super attack just like the Fire Tyranno did, so we're probably going to have to heal once it finishes counting down if we don't kill it first. But being that we're dealing 3,500 damage a round, well, we'll see how much health this thing has. Dying. It needs to die. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, the Robo is fairly low on health. So, we'll probably have to heal after this one. If it doesn't eat Robo first. Crap. Alright. Revive! Okay. That was a lot of damage. Okay, he needs to stop doing that, please. Oh, it's 
a little faster too. Okay, there we go. We're good. So for defeating the Dark Tyranno, hey look, it's the Rainbow Shell. And it's way too heavy. So just by walking away, you are automatically teleported to Guardia. Um, awkward? Don't they realize this is the guy who was trying to, you know, murder them all, like, six or seven hours ago? Okay. Let's bring Fog. See if he has anything to say. Alright, well, that was useless. And how convenient, the epic is right here. Okay, so we got a couple other areas to go and check out. For example, over here, notice that ominous swirling vortex. We'll be coming back to that in a little bit. In a little bit. Uh, so. Now, there's still a couple treasures left in the Giant's Claw that I actually have not uh, gotten, and we'll be getting those later on. But for now... Let's actually head back to, uh, let's see. Well, let's go back to the end of time and see if Gaspar has anything new to tell us about. thing is, uh, Gaspar was apparently intended to be a player character at one point, um, but they decided to scrap it at the last minute. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Marl in our party, because uh, coming up is going to be a dungeon requiring her. And let's see here. And we'll leave Isla in the party for now. Okay. So, let's go ahead to the future and check out what's in the future. Now, there's a black omen, ominous as ever, but we're not going there. We're actually going to be heading off this island, oh no, not here, sorry, uh, down here in the southern regions, to the Genodome, but that'll have to actually wait until the next video. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. When I get back, we will explore the Genodome, and this will be Robo's side quest, so see you guys in a little bit.